So this is Emily's gear that she will be bringing with her on the PCT hike this year. And I am going to go through what all this stuff is and give you the lowdown on our setup. So these two sets will be interchangeable. So first is sleep systems. So basically in the warm months, she will simply be using this folding Z-Lite pad that I trimmed down off of one that I had for myself that I used to use before I upgraded to an inflatable pad. And so she will have that underneath her. And then if it's cold, I can throw my down jacket over the top of her. And when it's cold out, I have this set up. This is a Western Mountaineering bag expander, which zips onto my Western Mountaineering sleeping bag. But basically it just adds space onto my sleeping bag so that she can sleep in the sleeping bag with me. And then this is a little um, full-size inflatable pillow that I um, couple to my sleeping pad so that that's basically keeps her up at the same level as me so that she fits in the bag and has that underneath her. When I use just the bag expander without that, she kind of slumps down over the side and it really stretches the bag and makes it a little harder for us both to fit. As far as jackets go, I'm really only gonna bring this jacket for the uh, Sierra section where we'll be at real high elevation and it get, gets pretty chilly even during the day at times um, or when we're hanging out and not inside the sleeping bag. But most of the time if it's really cold um, and it's not expected, I can just snuggle with her in my sleeping bag or wrap her up in my coat. So I'm not gonna be bringing this for the majority of the time. Silver shade mesh that has really, really good airflow. And basically it just keeps the black um, covered on her coat and reflects the sun off of it, which really helps a lot with keeping her cool. Probably the number one question I get when it comes to backpacking and hiking with dogs is what do you do for their feet? Because that is definitely something someone who's new to backpacking or hiking probably is going to experience that what their dogs when before they're really in good condition and used to it are probably really going to tear their feet up out on the trail and so i'm going to go over what we do for her feet so during the um section where she's going to be sleeping in the bag with me i will have along these little um fleece mushroom musher booties they're super lightweight and they're surprisingly tough. They're, I mean, they're not going to last like a full um, dog shoe that you see in the store that's going to cost you like 60 bucks. But these are, I think they're like a maybe $2 a piece. And basically they hold up, they just give her foot enough cushioning that if she's over rough rock, um, they're going to, they're going to help her out. But really what they're for is for in the tent at night to keep her from popping my sleeping bag and the air mattresses. And um, so that's really what they're for and a little extra warmth. And so, but um, I really like these even for just wearing around outside if I need them for well, that. protecting their feet, these are really my go-to booty. And so these are made, they're called Mushers Booties and you can get them at dogbooties.com. And they're just a very simple little nylon, really strong nylon um, with a Velcro attachment. And um, they're simple, just like the Fleece Booties, same company. Um, they're very inexpensive. You buy them by the boot. And so I actually, um, I have a bunch of them and I take an extra boot along so that if one of them wears through or I lose one, um, I have an extra boot. It barely weighs anything. So it's pretty easy to do that. And so I use these as her um, booties whenever her feet need protection. So the section that we go through up at by Sisters where she's gonna be on the lava rock all day, she will have these on to keep her feet protected. Most of the other time she actually does fine without boots because her feet are really solid, tough conditions because of how much that we hike on a normal week in the conditions that we hike on. A little trick that I've been experimenting with and I think I'm gonna probably use in that section and I'll let you know, is one of the biggest problems with dog boots is they don't stay on. They just, 
they're so easily flipped, flicked off or they wear down. And especially Emily's feet, they're very narrow and she doesn't have a big foot. And so boots have a tendency to just slide right off her. So lately what I've been doing is I take this KT tape and wrap it around her foot. holds it in place and keeps it from slipping off. And KT tape moves and kind of expands and stretches. So it's something that moves with her leg and isn't like cutting off circulation or anything like that. So I'll let you know how that little trick works out. But so far it's been really great. And then I also have it along to actually wrap her foot if she gets any kind of blisters or cuts or anything like that. And I use these little um, pieces of foam. I just throw some of these in my first aid kit so that if she does get a blister on her pad and I put that on and then a piece of the KT tape and then her booty and that offers her quite a bit of protection. The foam is just the stuff that you can buy in the uh, sporting goods section where the um, where they have braces and stuff like this they basically this is to put on underneath people who tape their ankles and stuff like that for sports super super light and um, offers a little protection if she needs it I also uh, treat her feet at night I like help moisturize her foot and keep it from getting those deep cracks that sometimes dogs can get in their pads just like people do on their feet uh, if you um, if they get too dry so that's something that I'll be using to kind of massage her little feet at night and help keep her feet in better shape so her first aid kit is pretty basic um, because again I have to try to cut weight as best I can while riding that line between safety so it's basically designed around feet and legs since that's the majority of things that you have to deal with so again I have those little foam pads that I was talking about um, this tape I, um, I get from my friends that have horses. It's called Elasticon. And this stuff is, if I really need to keep her foot protected and um, the KT tape isn't cutting it, then I use this stuff. This is what they use when uh, they wrap horses' legs and feet. And so it's super, super sticky and it stays on great. It sticks to itself like just like glue. Um, the downside is, is that it will take some of the dog's hair off when you pull it off. So it's definitely not something you want to use every day, which is why I use the, the KT tape um, whenever I need just kind of something to help keep the boot on. But this is if she does end up hurting her foot and I need something to, that'll help stop the bleeding. Um, this stuff is great. It's, it's just a great little bit. It's a little bit heavier um, than normal tape, but it's well worth the wait. And then this is cast padding. And so basically I have a little roll of gauze in my first aid kit. So I can wrap a wound and give it some extra padding, wrap that up and tape it. Um, that's really the extent. Um, I don't have a bunch of gauze and antiseptic and all that kind of stuff because basically I'm just gonna have to triage her to get her into condition where I can get her to safety if something happens. And then her meds, basically, I have Benadryl. You gotta have Benadryl, um, no matter what, even just in the most simple backpacking little trip or even just a hiking trip, you should always carry Benadryl with you because that's something, if your dog gets stung by a bee, if they get stung, bit by a snake, anything like that, um, this is gonna be the thing that you go to right away. So talk to your veterinarian and find out what the pro appropriate dosage is for your dog and make sure that they think that it's safe for your dog, but you definitely want to have that with you if you are adventuring with your dogs. And then I have um, antibiotics in case she does get a wound. Um, is there antibiotics for GI issues if she picks up Giardia or something like that? And then pain medications. So that's really just it for, and again, I've gotten the dosages um, from the veterinarian, so I, I know exactly how much to give her if I need that. Basically, these are just to get her through till we can get to help. So it's not in place of veterinary medicine, it's just if we end up happening to be three or four days out from help, um, this is to get her to where we can get to help. And then that's her rabies certificate. Last but not least, parasite control, which um, with 
Dogs on trail is one of the big things to worry about, especially ticks. And so I tried all sorts of different things this winter and over the past year, and I am starting her on Advantix at the beginning of our hike, and we're gonna see how that goes. So um, it's one of the things that repels ticks, and so most of the other products, the tick has to bite the dog in order to um, die, and she has sensitivity to ticks and has had tick paralysis while on those other pro products because the ticks can still bite her and inject her with the uh, stuff that causes the tick paralysis before they die. So I definitely want something that repels and also to keep her from bringing them into the tent with me at night. We are starting at a heavy mosquito time for um, Southern Oregon and so I'm, I'm hoping that um, this actually helps with that. I don't, I'm not holding, I'm not holding out any hope for that but I, I, I do, um, it would be nice if that kind of helps cut down on, on the um, mosquitoes for her and then also treats fleas. Um, I have tried it. I know it's safe on her. The big reason why I never use this um, at home is because it's really dangerous for cats and our dogs and cats are best friends and so um, that's something I won't put on her until we leave. And then HeartGuard. Um, HeartGuard takes care of heartworm and then also other intestinal parasites that they may pick up along the way. Both of these I will just send in the resupply boxes and get it, and give those to her in town. So those won't, won't be in her kit. They'll just show up in a box uh, when we hit town. I have uh, mentioned in other videos before her bowl I made out of a platter plus bladder. Trimmed it down, it weighs practically nothing. Pops open, holds her food and water. Works absolutely great, I love this thing. I uh, wish I could find more bladders to make a bunch more of them because I would like to have more of those. Her collar I made myself out of paracord. So I just braided the paracord and um, put in a little compass. It's got um, her tags on it. I spread them out like a crown collar because I don't really like jingling tags. So they're all spread out. I also have a leash attached to it um, or just a little extra length of the paracord to be able to use for various things like hanging stuff up. And then the um, snap is also a emergency whistle. So that is her collar. Um, I will have a rough wear um, harness for the sections where I'm anticipating having to help her through river crossings and things like that. Things like that. But for the most part, she'll just be wearing her collar because I'm not a big, not a big uh, harness person. I don't like the way they can rub on their um, elbows and shoulders and things like that, and just more weight that she doesn't really need to carry. So most of the time, she'll be wearing this, and then um, I will be using that ruffler harness um, as needed. And then I've mentioned before, I love this leash, the Spindrift leash. They don't even make these anymore, but they're, they make a version, but they're, they're not nearly as good as these original ones. But basically the handle snaps apart, so it's real easy to clip it onto my backpack or if I'm, uh, you know, anything like that where I need to kind of secure it. And then I also use this a lot <laughs> when I'm camping as like a clothesline because I just put, the, put this around a tree or something like that and then string it across and you know, clip the leash to itself and make a little line that I can hang stuff out with. So, um, so that is her leash. Absolutely love it. And then I just have a little cut down piece of pack towel that is super absorbent. So if it rained a lot or anything like that, and I need to dry her off before I bring her in the tent, I just have a tiny little square of some pack towel material to help dry her off. And then that also can double as uh, a wash rag for me if I need um, to dry things out and stuff like that as well. So dry off the tent or stuff like that.